Aloha, my name is Lisa. I am making this video in admittance to Hibiscus Moon's Crystal Healing Course. I have always been interested in the vibrational energy qualities of crystals uh, for many years now. I have recently um, been inclined to pursue this mystery um, of my own and questions I have about crystals and their vibrations and their healing qualities. I specifically want to state that the video is mostly about some experience I had with my own crystal healing with my none other than my dog Clarence who happens to be a French Bulldog. There is Clarence right there. As you can see Clarence is um, a happy little dog. He's a little French Bulldog and he um, is the light of our life. A few months ago he was injured. Um, he's had a back injury and a hip injury and because I live on a small island in Hawaii called Maui, we are very limited to the amount of technology here for his proper healing, which we were in hopes that he didn't have what the vet said he might have had, which was a degenerated disc disorder, which is predisposed specifically to his breed and many small broad dog breeds. Um, if he did have this disorder, we would have to take him to the mainland, which is a very big trek for us to leave um, the island with a dog and to return as it's very difficult to bring animals back, especially dogs, into the islands because there are no rabies here. Um, because of this and because of my own interest in crystals and healing, I decided to try to experiment some of the things that um, I already knew and really indulge in getting more educated about crystals and healing. So I did. Um, I would also like to state that between my veterinarian, my local vet, and my amazing, awesome chiropractor, Dr. Pat McLean, who has worked on animals in the past, um, I was given permission by my vet to take him to see a chiropractor, which is my trustworthy chiropractor. Um, she had informed me that she was aware of animals and dogs and she had worked with dogs before. Um, I do also would like to state that I did a lot of research for his breed in particular, being a French Bulldog. His skeletal uh, anatomy is quite different than one of a regular breed dog per se. Um, he has interesting skeletal disadvantages by breed and his injury included his back being jammed and his hip. And um, it seemed to me that he s had a really high um, recovery rate after seeing um, my chiropractor who happens to have a biomat. If you don't know what a biomat is, a biomat is an amethyst crystal bed that heats up more or less like a giant heating pad. And it can, um, amethysts um, are a memory stone. They can remember how to heal and for each individual person it can work and he was very drawn to the biomat immediately he loves to lay on it and he definitely I believe was benefited tremendously by having biomat treatments and of course you know monitoring from his vet and minor adjustments from Dr. Pat McLean. I also have um, been really into reading a lot about crystals and crystal healing and the vibrational energy qualities of why and how all of this works. Here are a few of the books that I have been um, getting a lot of my information from. So through my research I found out that fluorite would be a great stone to work with him with uh, as we know fluorite, fluorite is um, something that can be good for bones and teeth. This here is a piece of fluorite. This is a fluorite crystal. It is um, a few inches in diameter here. Um, I had a friend that brought me this back from Manitou Springs, Colorado. And um, uh, not only was I very drawn to this specific piece of fluorite, but so was Clarence. I um, had done an experiment, which I wish I would have videotaped now. Um, I'm sure I'll be able to capture it again as he's constantly drawn to this specific piece of fluorite. But um, I had laid out a few crystals just like this, as I'm showing you right here. 
and I've done this a few times, and he himself, Clarence himself, would always be drawn to the fluorite crystal, <laughs> even though he has a different toy in his mouth right now. But um, he specifically was drawn to the fluorite, and I believe he picked it for himself. As I started to read more and more about fluorite, I realized it is um, directly used for bone and teeth. And as you can see, Clarence is very mobile. Um, the problem that he had was here in his very back, he was having in his right hip and leg trouble with movement because his back was jammed. As you can tell, now when I press on this area, there's no divot. Usually when you press on a dog's area like that and it starts to shake or tremble, it means that the dog is uncomfortable. See right there was where his injury was. See how it doesn't tremble when I do it there or there or there, but it happens when I do it right there. That was the, uh, oh, I don't know if I did that right, if you could see. You could see where he was definitely not happy about that area. But um, now Clarence seems to be much more mobile than he was. And maybe he will demonstrate for you that he will pick out his fluorite. Clarence, where's your rock? Where's your rock? Where's your rock? Which one? Where's your rock? Where's your rock, my dog? Hmm? You gonna say hi to everybody out there? Yeah? <laughs> of course, he won't do it right now. Uh, either way, we have used the fluorite in many different ways. We have uh, put the fluorite directly into his water. I have um, this lovely little book here called Gem Water that has um, taught me how to make some gem elixirs and sprays as well that we have used with him. Um, but mainly I just put this big piece of fluorite in his water just like this and he loves to drink his water with the fluorite in it. He's very curious about his piece of fluorite as you can tell. He knows that, that that's his. <laughs> um, the first thing I learned about um, using a crystal in healing is to set an intention to it. Um, this crystal in particular, his piece of fluorite, was set um, with the specific intention of healing him and his bones in specific area of his back. Um, not only do we put it in his water, but when he's laying down on the couch with us just relaxing, I kind of, you know, massage him with it or just leave it lying right next to him. Um, I find that it definitely comforts him. I, I sometimes I feel like he looks for it, and if he ever stares at the place where his rock is always sitting, which is this table behind me where the, the Buddha, where the Buddha is right there, um, he often looks at me and looks up at that area if I can almost tell and feel like as if he's asking me to let him have it or put it near him. And when I do, it calms him immediately. Um, I do have more video of Clarence um, in the beginning of his injury and his limping. I am happy to say now that <laughs> this would probably be a good way to see him. He's um, very playful now. Um, very happy. It's been about two months and he can move his legs around and walk around like normal. And you know, a lot of what he had was a lot of shaking and discomfort. And the vet was saying that that was pain. Um, you can clearly see that Clar Clarence is not in any pain at all. <laughs> he is very happy and happy to play with his little toy at this moment in time. But um, I do like to video him walking around like this because for us, it was very scary. We were not sure if he was going to be able to play and walk around like this for very, very soon after what he'd gone through. But I definitely attribute um, our local vet, Dr. Pat McLean, our chiropractor, and her biomat and her um, very subtle adjustments that she has done with him. I also wanted to bring this book into the matter here, this Crystal Healing for Animals book, which I found online. It has been extremely helpful to me. Um, there's a part in this book that talks about doing a, um, almost like a grid around your dog. And um, we used, we're using black tourmaline for that. And um, black tourmaline is 
directly aids in the healing process of bones as well. And if I can just find it here, I will show you the page. Sorry, I had it marked, and here we go. So, the black tourmaline layout is right there. And it says here, um, to use eight pieces of black tourmaline are needed for this layout. They are laid out as two crosses, one aligned with the top, bottom, right, and left of the animal, and the other rotated out a few degrees clockwise. And it says that it will help clear up aches and sprains in the muscles, protect against emotional negativity, rebalance the skeletal structure, almost like a form of crystal osteopathy, <laughs> relax the body generally. So with um, the advice in these books and the will for me to heal my dog because of our disadvantages of being far away and not having a lot of modern technology help him, I really felt like it was up to me to try to come up with a different alternative route in his healing process. And throughout all this, I discovered that I have a really um, passionate interest in crystal healing, and I really, really want to know more and would like to learn the science behind why crystals vibrate and what their connection is with energy and vibration towards humans and animals. And if at all possible, they can heal and help. I am very interested in learning about all those things. And um, I'm very happy to state that I am excited about this journey and excited to find out what the outcome of this healing will do for not only Clarence, but people and that I know and people that I have met with little ailments or large ailments or detrimental ailments, but either way, um, please pick me for the crystal healing course. <laughs> I am a dedicated learner and I would love to learn more about all of these things. Thank you so much and a big aloha from Maui and from Clarence. <laughs> Say thank you, Clarence. Say thank you, buddy. <laughs> Say thank you, Bobo. <laughs> Bye.